In the last interaction between Uganda Revenue Authority and COSASE, the 2021-2022 Auditor General's report provided ground for inquest into corruption, especially at border points. At the fall of today's interaction, the Revenue Authority confirmed move to use body cams by its staff to track leakage. In the lead-up to this development face-off between COSASE and the Revenue Authority, Joel Senyonyi, the committee chairperson, informed that a section of URA officials were arrested for impounding some Indian businessmen's Old, although were later released. Early last year, two URA enforcement officers attached to the customs office were briefly arrested and suspended from work for busting individuals smuggling 36 pieces of gold headed for Kampala. The smugglers kept threatening the URA officers that they are connected to quote-unquote big people in Kampala. Eventually, the staff were arrested and their case file transferred to CID in Kampala. The charges were later dropped. Cost of administrative corruption highly rates as compared to minerals, among other sources according to Lex Letters. Billions are lost and ultimately Uganda Revenue Authority needs to come up with a practical plan. And secondly, share, you see the issue of the corruption in Uganda has become a cancer. And you find the nation is losing a lot of billions of money and people walk freely, even in the court of law, and yet at the expenses of the taxpayer. And I wanted to find out from the URA whether they have cases, at least of the officer in the URA, that they are pinned them down because of the issue of the corruptions. If it is there, then perhaps I would ask them very honestly for them to provide a committee that so far in this period of time we are able to commit this number of officer to the court of law because of corruption. I look at his, at his team here. The whole team is a very humble team, including the CG himself. In a, a situation where somebody who is big is a general and is calling to say, leave that, 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 those goods to go. We want to work closely. You, you are commissioner. May not counter such a force. We know our people. We know how shrewd they are. That's why we are saying, let's work closely. Be honest to us. Where there, there is external influence beyond your control, I look at these humble faces. Not be able to counter a call from a general. Responding to the corruption issue, URA Commissioner General expressed content with the raised concerns and committed to wiping it out. In this regard, over 70 of its staff were dismissed and those that tampered with ledger receipts, he confirmed precedence in court. He adds that URA is soon introducing body cameras for officers to monitor operations. The punishment that we give administratively is dismissal or termination of service. And I think over the last three years, we've lost about 70 staff uh, because of this cancer of corruption, corruption-related cases. And then for extreme cases of fraud, especially staff who have been involved in ledger manipulation, where you go in the system and try to take away some tax liability, we have committed them to court. According to Musinguzi, all the need from the legislators and the public is whistleblowing to expose corruption tendencies. I think the best support that honorable members of this committee uh, and all the honorable leaders uh, in this parliament, the biggest support, and want to appreciate, you have given us the support uh, in terms of supporting our budgets. Many times we've come with requests. Uh, we think the next... Uh, uh, level will now to share with us information because the information you are giving us, you are privy to this. First of all, the, 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 you are the leaders of the people, you know what is happening on the ground. So you, you have some information that we may not have and would very much appreciate sharing this information so that we can act. The Revenue Authority has been asked to expose big names evading taxes. A clear leakage as push for domestic revenue to meet the 29 trillion target gets practical. I was at the airport, customs. We impounded smuggled goods, 
by a spouse of a minister of finance. Then, the late Basogan Sadu, our, our principal revenue officer who was in charge was Deo Xembo. I was there with, I, th I think this lady is still in the URA, Allen Atkunda. We are the ones who intercepted. And when we got this, the lady ran. The following day, the Honorable Minister arrives. 8.30 at the airport, looking for the officers who had signed. I to hear of many cases of people who are evading taxes. Powerful people, connected people have given some examples here. You know, once their goods are impounded, phone calls come through, and then the goods are released. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.